conservatives are trying to cancel Whoopi Goldberg. Now, this is after she had apologized for saying some pretty ignorant things about uh, the Holocaust. In fact, on yesterday's episode of The View, she tried to argue that the Holocaust w wasn't about race. Take a look. The Holocaust isn't about race. No. No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe ethnicity. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's about, about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but it's not, it's not about and, ideal and race. It's 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 then, but these are two Romans. white groups of people. Well, they How do we have to black people see them as white? And they, but you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. All right, so look, that discussion was in the context of conservatives banning books. So look, they've been talking about the uh, Tennessee school board banning uh, Mouse, a Pulitzer Prize winning graphic novel about the concentration camps during World War II. So uh, look, that's one of the many books that have been targeted for censorship by the right wing. Uh, many because, you know, uh, they claim that it will make white people feel bad. I don't know why, but uh, okay. So now, uh, the segment here is about Whoopi Goldberg and, and her comments. And I actually think that she is both right and wrong and at the same time. So now, is it about race? Yeah, it was about race. <laughs> Absolutely. The, not, the Holocaust was the Nazis trying to exterminate Jewish people and other what they considered to be undesirables, Roma, the disabled, leftists, etc. The Nazis literally believed that they were members of a superior race and blamed the Jewish people, who they considered to be an inferior race, for all the failings of Jewish, uh, I'm sorry, of uh, German society. Literally tried to wipe them out. And so, again, uh, where, so that's where she's obviously stupidly wrong, right? Now, where she's right, it's possibly that this is a, a pretty good example, too, of how you dehumanize people. You dehumanize people. You don't literally don't consider them human beings, i.e. inferior, right? And that leads to horrific things happening. Allows you to justify doing horrible things against your fellow human beings, okay? And so understand that this is a, this is a nuanced conversation, right? Um, certainly, it, it is both things. It, it, it is, uh, you know, the othering of people, man's inhumanity to man, and an issue of race. And so now, understandably, there's a lot of backlash. Definitely fine. Again, I, I even have criticized Whoopi Goldberg over this because it was a really, really bad take. And so as a result, she has apologized for that. Uh, in fact, she said uh, this on, on Twitter. Let me, let me pull up that image here. On today's show, this was about 8.15. This was after her Colbert appearance. Um, she said, on today's show, I said the Holocaust is not about race, but about man's inhumanity of man. I should have said it is about both. As Jonathan Greenblatt from the Anti-Defamation League shared, the Holocaust was about the Nazis' systematic annihilation of the Jewish people who they deemed to be an inferior race. I stand corrected. The Jewish people around the world have always had my support and that will never waver. I'm sorry for the hurt that I caused. Written with my sincerest apologies, Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. Uh, now look, uh, not only that, but they even brought on Jonathan Greenblatt to The View the next day, uh, on Tuesday. Uh, and so he discussed where, why Goldberg was wrong. And so, look, let me just say, that's the right approach. Yes, if you mess up, if you say something unbelievably stupid, in this case, you apologize for it, sincerely. And I actually do believe that she's sincere about this. Uh, and so her apology was welcomed by Jewish leaders. Um, but unfortunately, there were people who were not satisfied with this. Uh, and of course, it was 
the online right-wing community. Because, of course. Uh, they turn this into an issue of cancel culture. Uh, immediately, the first thing they go to is cancel culture. So now, uh, let me give you an example here. Uh, For America tweeted, Gina Carano was fired for saying less than what B. Goldberg said in her first, second, and third statements combined. Except that Whoopi Goldberg, when corrected, she did apologize. Gina Carano, and, and I talked about this, Gina Carano was warned several times by the studio, hey, tone it down a little bit. Stop doing that. Please stop posting those things. We're going to give you a warning. We're going to give you a second warning. We're going to give you a third warning. Uh, and we're, we're not going to give you any more warnings, so please stop. After this, you're done. And then she did it again. Because, of course, right? Um, another example gets brought up. Roseanne Barr. Uh, in fact, this is uh, Sean, uh, or Shiny Nickel, uh, says, Roseanne Barr gets fired, but not whoopee. It's called left-wing privilege. Do you remember Roseanne? Do you remember what happened with Roseanne Barr? R Roseanne Barr literally blamed racist statements on Valerie Jarrett, on Ambien. Oh, yeah, it was the Ambien. I was up at 2 a.m., Ambien, tweeting racist things, and then doubling down. Again, in both of those situations, had they come out immediately and just said, hey, look, um, yeah, what I said was incredibly stupid. Uh, it was dumb. I don't, you know, I apologize. It was a very ignorant statement. And then stop doing it. Stop doing it. That's all you had to do. It's <laughs> just not do that. Apologize and not do it again. You know, and actually learn your lesson. Or hell, at least pretend that you've learned your lesson by not doing it again. But no, they had to keep pushing it and pushing it. Why? It's because, well, look. Cancel culture is a big seller on the right wing now. Uh, if you, quote unquote, get canceled by the woke mob, uh, then you're a conservative hero and you are sure to get a lot of money and, and, and fame and, and jobs from the right wing. It's that victimhood complex. They love to feed into it. That's why they continue to do it. They do it, do it, do it. All right, so another one. Um, why are liberals uh, allowed to say and do racist and derogatory things? They're not because massive backlash, right? Uh, always getting away with it by simply saying, I'm sorry, or I didn't mean it. Whoopi Goldberg said something racist about the Holocaust and is allowed to say, I'm sorry. She should be fired. No, well, the, the, whole, the whole reason she's not is because she realized that it was dumb and apologized. I, that's not how this works. No, and by the way, this applies to everybody. Like, if, yes, if you say something stupid and wrong, which happens, and or factually incorrect, and then you come out, once you have learned, you know, wh what's real, and you come out and say, boy, was I wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I was wrong. I, I said something uh, dumb. And I apologize for it. That's it. That should be the end of it. That should be the end of it. That, that's why I'm totally fine. Now, if Whoopi Goldberg had, no, had, had come out today and still doubled down, well, the segment would look very, very different because I would be criticizing Whoopi Goldberg because what she said was factually incorrect. Again, if you say something dumb or ignorant, which is a person who, by the way, does talk for a living, you know you're going to get called out and corrected for it. I have no problem with backlash. None at all. I think that's totally fine. I've always been consistent on that. Uh, criticism, backlash, etc. Uh, yes, that's important. Now, the, on the right, they call that cancel culture. That's what they do. They're like, oh, no, no, no. If you criticize me at all for the dumb things that I say, that is cancel. You're trying to cancel me. No, no, that's literally holding people accountable. That's what that is. 
again, if you apologize and you do something and you try to do better, then I don't see that why you would need to be fired or canceled or anything like that. And again, there's a lot of nuance here as well because it really does depend on what you say. I mean, if you say some of the most horrific things and you have to look at the context, uh, in her context, uh, Whoopi Goldberg was saying, well, let's talk about this. Let's have a discussion on this. And, and I think this is important. And she was uh, arguing against banning the book in class, which is what conservatives were trying to do in the first place. But yes, yeah, she did get the race thing absolutely wrong. She did. Uh, but again, now she knows better. And there you go. And again, I'm, this is not... This is not me, you know, saying that I like Whoopi Goldberg. I've had a lot of disagreements with her in the past, um, especially with her takes when it comes to progressive politics. Uh, I think that she's, you know, um, quite disconnected from average, regular working people, progressives and progressive priorities. Totally fine. Um, you know, that, 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 to criticize her for that, right? And, and I do think that she's wrong. Um, but again... No one is saying here in this situation that what she said was acceptable. Nobody defended that at all. It was unacceptable. It required an apology, which was then offered by her and accepted by the aggrieved parties. That's it. The only people calling for her ouster are the people that hated her in the first place. That were looking to do, an, uh, looking for an opportunity to do cancel culture. Now, I want to I want to actually give credit to a conservative for actually talking against this. And so uh, I, I, I didn't think that this day would ever happen, but I actually agree with a Newsmax host of all people, of all people. Here, uh, he, here's a tweet by Greg Kelly. Oh, sorry, that's not it. Yes, Whoopi Goldberg was as wrong as wrong can be, but I'm getting really sick of cancel culture and the shaming. This crap has to stop. Really, really weird places to capitalize, but okay. We can't make it illegal and unforgivable to make a mistake. That's right out of China. Whoopi's a liberal, but I think she's cool. <laughs> Look, again, a lot of that stuff is pretty ridiculous, but, but the overall point is, hey, Let's not go in the direction of doing cancel culture. And, and I agree with that. I actually agree with that. It, again, it's one of the very, very few things that I'll ever agree with Greg Kelly on. <laughs> um, but hey, yes. Oh, by the way, the whole China thing. It, of course, they have to take shots at China for, for just like no reason. Um, but look, yes, people make mistakes overall. And, uh, it, you know, it, that's going to happen. But if you make a real effort to apologize and you come correct and you, and you learn from it, then I don't see any reason to not let this go. So I, at the end of the day, Whoopi Goldberg, not guilty. <laughs>